an autumn morning and a coachload of bird watchers are travelling to Wales. Their destination is the 450 acre Clanethley Wetland Centre. It adjoins the salt marshes of the Berry Inlet and is located about 12 miles west of Swansea. There are many hides here and this is the first stop for some. The centre is a noted site for water birds and waders. Thousands of migrating birds arrive here each year from Scandinavia and Europe. Flocks of up to 50,000 have been recorded. Ponds such as this are plentiful, an ideal place for this family to enjoy the proximity of the birds and create an interest in wildfowl. There are just a few of the 50,000 visitors each year. There are quiet areas also. A grey heron waits, possibly, for his lunch. Tomic paths make for easy walking and a chance to see some of the resident 650 wildfowl, including many rare and endangered species. There are many eider ducks and their displays are well worth watching. This lively duck is a Barrow's Golden Eye, which breeds in the Arctic lakes and rivers. And these Australian shell duck are a long way from home. Black swans breed mainly in the southeast and southwest of Australia, where they appear on their stamps. They are becoming more common in the wild here in the UK. What a wonderful sound from the black necked swan. This duck is one of my favourites. It's a bufflehead. Although a long way from their natural habitat, these Caribbean flamingos have made themselves quite at home here in Clanethley. The bar-headed goose is noted for its high flying during migration, claimed to be as high as 30,000 feet over the Himalayas. There are plenty of photographic subjects. And these red crested potchard are very cooperative. The black neck swan is the largest waterfowl in South America. The male is known as the cob, the female as the pen. The red-breasted goose breeds in the Arctic tundra up to 70% over winter in Bulgaria, where sadly these numbers have been greatly decreased by hunters. Bahama pintail ducks are known as dabbling ducks. The male and female are quite similar in size and appearance. The habitat of the shell duck is coastal margins and muddy shores. A quiet backwater and there are many an ideal location for this extended family of mute swans. Looking westward, the first signs of the approaching dusk. And for the wildfowl, that means just one thing, feeding time. And here comes that greatly anticipated moment, food, glorious food. And the feeding frenzy begins, no holes barred, no sign of table manners here. It's every bird for itself. This lady visitor tries to restore some dignity to the occasion, but sadly to no effect. But perhaps some have learned a lesson after all and realized that good manners are not so difficult and they are rewarding. However, all the noise and commotion has attracted the gulls and down they descend, adding to the mayhem on the ground. They too seem to have overlooked their table manners, with the uh, inevitable results to be seen. The gulls are the black-headed species. The autumn afternoon is now drawing to a close. Time for me to leave, and allow the wild fowl to settle down for the night. <coughs>